Hey everybody, James Elliott here from Unleash Your Power. Uh, I'm at the uh, the house or the old mansion of Al Capone, actually, the notorious gangster, uh, here in Cuba. Let's give you a little quick uh, panoramic here. So I just ate lunch at the uh, the ancient uh, now restaurant uh, mansion of Al Capone, which is uh, it's pretty cool actually, pretty cool experience. Um, and it's got a bit of significance to it for me because although Al Capone did a lot of charitable stuff, he gave to people, he donated to people, he wanted to be likable, uh, but really it was a facade. He wanted this facade to be likable versus the actual real man himself was a pretty terrible person as you can imagine, he was a gangster. Um, so again, it, my, my message to you is have people like you for who you really are because it's exhausting otherwise to keep up a, a facade and this pretend person you, you really want to be. Uh, since this is my message, the house resonates this message as well. It was a neat, powerful feeling being in the house of someone that's uh, you know, such a powerful and, and, and terrible and evil businessman and business person as well. Yet it, it again gives an important message to be yourself because it can be exhausting to have a, a facade and to try to keep up this facade of yourself. And my real message is to be yourself because Al Capone probably didn't really care ultimately what people thought about him. He really didn't care. And he, he, yes, he did his best to have a facade and please people and give charitable donations and help people to be liked so he could get his way with all the, the you know, nasty stuff he did versus really wanting to have people like him or, or be liked. He probably didn't care about that. I'm, you know, hazard to guess and hazard to assume. Uh, it was all about so he could uh, you know, do his illegal business because people would uh, support him and go against, go, go against the police uh, because at the time the police were after him, people would uh, pressure the police not to bother him because he was quote unquote such a good Samaritan. Anyway, my message here though is from Cuba, from Verdero, Cuba, Al Capone's uh, old mansion in Cuba here. I'll give you one last, uh, one last panoramic here. And my message is to be yourself because it's exhausting and there's no point in having a facade anyways. Uh, if you get some, some flack uh, about being the real you and being powerful and avoiding caring, avoiding worrying what people think about you, avoid being an asshole, but also avoid caring what people think about you. Be yourself, I can guarantee you it's going to get you what you want in your life. You may catch some flack for it at first from your family, your current friends, your current associates, but I can guarantee you by being yourself, by being authentic, the real you, might be a little challenging at first or, or very uncomfortable at first like it was for me. However, however, I can guarantee you that it's the easiest way to be happy, to be fulfilled, to do what you love and to follow your heart and do what your heart and soul want and be the real woman or man that you want to be. The highly influential, the real person you really want to be. So from Al Capone's old mansion in Verdero, Cuba, helping you unleash your power and create world-class influence in your life by being a powerful influential, empathetic, real, real authentic person. This is James R. Elliott. Unleash your power. Go have your best day ever. Take care.